Hi, everyone. We're here again, as the post office horizon scandal has continued to unravel. It's one of the most tragic miscarriages of justice in UK history, and today, we'll be taking a look at how the post office reacted to the crisis. A former post office executive, Sean Turner, told the inquiry that messaging starting coming out from the top of the organization, from the board of directors level, that the horizon system was robust. The post office messaging strategy was designed to reassure staff of this, even after Computer Weekly first exposed issues with the Horizon IT system in 2009. This robust messaging continued to be communicated internally, even when certain issues cropped up, like the receipts and payments mismatch issue impacting 40 branches. The post office memo sent to staff stated that if the issue was widely known, it could be perceived as a lack of confidence in Horizon, which could have a major effect on legal cases involving the post office. Thankfully, the memo also mentioned that subpostmasters affected were not taking advantage of the situation, and they were merely unaware of the problem. The inquiry then received further emails surrounding a case involving subpostmaster Lee Castleton, who was trying to prove the losses in his account were caused by a bug in Horizon, the calendar square bug. Emails from executives to a representative from Fujitsu spoke about how the post office was trying to keep the bug out of Castleton's hands, with one email reading our legal team, will be doing their best to persuade the court not to allow, Castleton, to call this evidence because it is filed late. The post office then spent an incredible amount of money on legal costs to discredit Castleton's evidence, and he was eventually made bankrupt. It's a sad story but one that shows how the post office reacted under pressure. It's an important part of this growing scandal and we must keep a close eye on it. Thanks for watching.